It's a little bit anxious, but it's going to happen. Come on. Here we go. We can do it. Let's do this. Hey everyone, my name is Leihua and welcome to the Superfina channel where I like to review products by sharing my impressions and how I use them. If that's the type of videos you like, then subscribe, ring that bell so you can be notified on the next video. Today's topic is Razor's Raiju Tournament Edition Pink Quartz Gaming Controller. I did a unboxing slash impression on it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. If you have, yes, we are back on this controller. And today's topic is pairing it to the PC and the PlayStation 4. If you remember from the unboxing impression video, I did point it out that you can pair it. You can pair this to the PC and PlayStation 4. And a lot of you guys were curious about the PC section. Wow, it actually plays with the PC. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna get this. Well, when I paired it to my PC, it wasn't easy from the get-go. No, it wasn't. I was questioning myself. I was like, wait, hold up. No, no, no. I'm reading the instructions. It says to do this. What's going on? And what you're going to see next is my process after I got everything down. And I'm going to point things out for you. That way, when you are doing it yourself, you are going to know what's happening. Is it right? Is it wrong? Etc. Etc. I'm gonna help you guys. So, without further ado, let's go with the pairing of Razer's Raiju Tournament Edition Gaming Controller. What's up, everyone? This is Lehua here with Razer's Raiju Tournament Edition Gaming Controller. And this here is the Pink Quartz. Edition. We are pairing this to our PC. And before we do that, what we want to do is set it to PC. There's a little button here. You want to put it on PC, which is the right side, and PlayStation is on the left. Put it on the right for the PC. Over here on the computer, we are on devices and Bluetooth section. Before we do any Bluetooth, what we want to do is press the top right corner button and the PlayStation at the same time. Hold it for 3 to 5 seconds until we see the blue light blinking rapidly. Then we're going to check on the Bluetooth and see that it's showing up. There it is. We're going to click on it and it's going to start pairing. You're going to look at the blue light and see if it just stays at a solid light no blinking just a blue light over here you see that it's still trying to connect don't worry about that it means it's connected when you see that blue light so we're going to fast forward because this is taking way too long for us to be sure that it is paired it is connected we can check by just going to steam so over here, we are on Steam. We're going to go to the big screen here, which will take us to the settings for Steam. And this is where we can see the controllers, the connection, and if everything is okay. So we're going to go to the controller settings. And over here, we see PlayStation 4 controller. That is our Raiju gaming controller. Click on it, identify it, and we're just going to test out that it is connected. So we are going to touch the left stick left stick here and we can see that it is moving it around it is highlighting some of the buttons now we're just gonna check that if it is actually connected so we're gonna go back to the computer settings we're gonna go to devices and they're under mouse keyboard and such we see the raiju tournament edition gaming controller it is connected it is paired yay us Everyone, cheer for yourself that you have successfully paired it up because this was not easy for me. When I was holding the buttons to see the blue light flashing, the first time it didn't do that rapid flashing. It just did flash. One, two, three, flash. One, two, three. I thought that was correct, but it wasn't. It so was not. 
So remember, it's rapid flashing that you want to see for that blue light. Rapid flashing. And that's how you pair Razer's Raiju Tournament Edition Gaming Controller to your PC. Next, we're going to do PlayStation 4. Awesome, you guys are still here. We are in the PlayStation 4 section of the pairing. So right now, we are pairing Razer's Raiju Tournament Edition Gaming Controller to our PlayStation 4. And before that, just like with the PC, what we want to do is set it to PlayStation 4. In the back, we have this little section here. Set it to the left side. Put that little knob to the left. Left is PlayStation. Right is PC. Put it to the left for the PlayStation 4. Next, what we want to do is we want to go to the settings, go to devices, devices, and then go to Bluetooth devices. Bluetooth devices. Next, what we want to do is press on the top left button and the PlayStation button. Hold both of them at the same time until you see the blue light blinking rapidly. Remember, have the blue light blinking rapidly. Then on the PlayStation screen, you're going to see Razer's Raiju Tournament Edition. You're going to select that and you're going to wait. It's going to say, please wait. And you're going to have that waiting game. It's a little bit anxious, but it's going to happen. Come on. Here we go. We can do it. Let's do this. Come on. Alrighty, is this going to be like the PC where it's not going to pair right away? Is it? It is. So, trial and error guys, it's going to happen. It's going to let us pair it. So let's select the Raiju Tournament Edition again. There we go, here we go, here we go. And no. Alright, and that's because the blinking light wasn't blinking anymore. So let's press those two buttons again. There you go. The blue light is blinking rapidly. Select Razer's Raiju Tournament Edition. Do you want to pair it? Yes, I do. There you go. And that's what we want. After it gets paired, it's going to ask us which account is going to control the con controller. This account. It's there. It's been selected. We can control everything with this controller now. It's paired. It's connected. Yay! Let's test it out with a game now. Shall we? We shall. Let's do this. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm just showing how you can use the buttons in the back. They do have the same controls as the buttons in the front of the controller. And you do have a choice to pick either or. I'm just showing that it does work. These buttons do work. They work with the game perfectly fine. When I first played Monster Hunter with this controller, surprisingly, it was showing the controls for the buttons in the back. R3, R4. I was like, what? But right now, for some reason, it's not showing it. Eh, that's fine. I just want to show you that they actually work. And when you have the Raiju app, and that's for another time. If you guys are curious about the Razer Raiju app, this one over here, leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you're curious about and such. Let's have a conversation. We are going to talk about Razer's Raiju Tournament Edition gaming controller again. We are going to do a series of videos and I would love to know what you guys want to know, your opinion, so I can bring it up in the videos. We also have a Discord. We have a Superfina Discord. The link is available in the descriptions below if you want to talk about the Razer's Raiju gaming controller or other stuff. I'm available there too. We can talk about it with other people and just, you know, have organic conversation. Hey, you are still watching this video. That means you liked it. So don't forget to give it a like and while you're at it, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss future content. The Superfina channel also has a Patreon and channel membership. My Patreons, channel members, y'all are the bomb. Thank you for all your support. 
here is a link to the Patreon if you want to support too and a list of social medias. All the links will be available in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have much love, much aloha for y'all and I will see you later.